All right. Hello and welcome back to another edition of me talking in a very boring room. I will get a set set up at some point, I promise. But in the meantime, we have a tier list to get to. Again, not doing this every week, but every now and then it's fun just to give my thoughts on where teams are at. Uh, I did this a couple weeks ago. Definitely needs an update now as we've gotten more information. Starting off with Cincinnati, uh, also, if you notice, I've added my own tiers instead of just doing the ones they give you, uh, made my own at this point. So uh, the five tiers that we're going to go with, uh, actually six tiers, Super Bowl contenders, for sure playoffs. However, that's, you know, where there's a tier, where there's, you know, some issues. Um, maybe playoffs is another one. We didn't have mid, uh, which kind of, uh, you know, speaks for itself. The plucky but bad, and then the just bad tier for Cincinnati, I am going, you know, this might be a bit hot of a take. I am still going for sure playoffs, however. Now, I think the, the guess the issue is, you know, are they actually going to make the playoffs given their record at this point and given the fact that they do have a tough schedule? But I think they're for sure a playoff caliber team. The however is the obvious issues. The offense has not looked as good. Joe Burrow hasn't been healthy. And even when he has made some good throws, sometimes it's still not hitting. Some guys, sometimes guys aren't getting open. They look better, though. I was really impressed with uh, how they looked at times against Arizona. So uh, I'm still going to put them in that tier. The Giants. Uh, I know Giants haters or Giants fans might think that I'm just a hater who's going to put them in just bad. I'll put them in plucky, but bad. They're capable of winning the occasional game here and there. I don't know if I'm willing to fully put them in just bad, but when they're playing a good team, they're going to get crushed. That's just what where they're at. Um, the Niners, this is kind of obvious. Super Bowl contenders, they've looked unstoppable, uh, debatably. You know, I think if I'm doing a power rankings, they're probably number one in the power rankings as of right now. Um, the Saints. I think the Saints are good. I think I'm going to put them in maybe playoffs. That feels like a perfect tier for them. I think that they have been a very quality uh, team at this point. You know, Derek Carr, I think I think he just wasn't healthy against Tampa Bay. I think he's much better uh, than he showed in that game. So that's where I'm going with that. Uh, the Bears, I'm still going to put them in plucky but bad. I think their defense is terrible. Justin Fields is good enough to do some nice things. But, and, you know, DJ Moore was awesome. Um, but you know, fields is too inconsistent. Offense is too inconsistent and the defense just sucks. So not fully just bad, but they're plucky, but bad in my opinion, the Packers, I I think I'm going to put them in mid mid feels right for me. I don't really know about them as a playoff team at this point. That was a tough loss against the Raiders. They probably should have been able to pull out that victory. So disappointing loss to not be able to do that, in my opinion. Um, Again, there are things to like about this Green Bay team, but Jordan Love's very inconsistent. uh, And, you know, as a whole, uh, mid just kind of feels right for them. The uh, Cardinals, Cardinals feel like they're, you know, I'm going to put them in the the front if I can. Oh, I guess I can't. Okay. Well, in in theory, they are the face of the plucky but bad team this year. That is exactly what they are. Listen, there's holes on this roster. Everyone's going to acknowledge there's holes on this Cardinals roster, but they've been plucky. They've done some nice things here, maybe not consistently enough, uh, and I don't think they're a great team. I don't think they have a ton of talent, but not a team, not an easy out at this point either. Um... The Ravens, the Ravens, man, I, you know, uh, I think I'm still going to put them in the for sure playoffs, however, but man, they're just, the however is clear, right? It's just the, the issues with this, uh, you know, with their receiving core, still not being able to win one-on-ones. They had so many drop passes. I still think they're a good team. I still think they're going to make the playoffs, but there is a however there. You don't just say, oh yeah, for sure playoffs. You say for sure playoffs, however, so they're in that tier for the Cowboys. I think the same thing. I do think they're a playoff team, but like, man, this is a team that needs to go up, right? Cause they are great at rushing the passer, but not great at stopping the run. Although they've, they've been okay this year, but a lot of that has been using all their resources to try and stop the run, which leaves them open on the back end. Uh, so, you know, they need to be up basically for their defense to dominate. And when they are, their defense can dominate. Um, and again, they don't really have the receiving depth, I think, to come back in games. So they're kind of the definition of front runners. They're really good at being front runners. It's not a bad thing necessarily, but you are going to be down in, in playoff games. And I don't know if you can go on a deep run that way. Um, 
And for the Bills, yeah, I mean, this might be a crowded tier, uh, the for sure playoffs, however, as I'm putting Buffalo in this tier as well. I mean, they're just been too, in- been too inconsistent. Josh Allen's too inconsistent. The defense is now banged up. There's still a lot to like about this team, but like, I don't know. There, there's some issues here. The Chargers are the next one on this list. I'm putting them, I think I'm putting them, oh man, I can't believe I'm doing this, but I am. They're mid. They're not even maybe playoffs at this point, just because like, I don't know. They can they can get better than mid. They for sure can. The you know Herbert I think is still awesome. They have receiving talent, but it hasn't shown up yet this season. Their offense has talent, but if that talent's not showing up, you're basically completely relying on Herbert to get you to the playoffs. And right now, it's not working. Their defense sucks. They're not a bad team, but they're they're mid right now. Um, the Broncos, the Broncos are a bad team, but are they plucky but bad, or are they just bad? And I don't know. I mean, you could kind of talk me into just bad at this point. Their offense is good enough. Maybe you could go plucky but bad. But I'm, I got to put someone in just bad, right? So I think I'm going to put the uh, the Broncos there as it stands right now. And, it, you know, uh, maybe maybe that's being too harsh. I don't know. Because uh, you could probably talk me into – I think you could talk me into the Giants also being just bad. But for now, I don't know. It's just like Russell Wilson's played solid, but, like, they're entirely Russell Wilson dependent, and he's only played solid. It's not like he's played great. So, yeah. The uh, the Lions are, you know, maybe I'm thinking about this now. Maybe I need another tier because I don't know. If, am I willing, really willing to give him Super Bowl contender? I guess I am. I guess I am. I don't know. Why not Super Bowl contender? Last, last tier list, I was too low on them. For sure, I had them as I believe B tier. So there was S tier, A tier, B tier. Um, they immediately have in the past two weeks looked unstoppable. And it's like I don't know. We say say in the NFC, I think that there's obviously two clear front runners. I think Detroit is clearly the next front runner. Putting them in the for sure playoffs, however tier, doesn't feel fully fair. So I'm going to put them still in Super Bowl contenders. Um, the Chiefs, I know their offense hasn't been as dominant so far, but I think they'll get it together. They're still Super Bowl contenders as long as they have Mahomes. The Atlanta Falcons, the Atlanta Falcons, um, I'll put them in maybe playoffs as well. Uh, that might be a very NFC South heavy uh, thing. In fact, you know, it's out of order. I'll put Tampa Bay in there as well. I think the, all th- three of those teams are maybe playoff caliber teams. Um, you, you know, Atlanta, starting off with them, I think that they're a you know, talented v- roster. They have some receivers that can really play, even though they don't really rely on that. I still think the Desmond Ritter thing is a huge question mark, and, and that's why I can't put them too much higher. But, hey, he looked great last week, so, you know, got to give him credit. And the secondary is very strong. For Tampa Bay, defense can be very good. Todd Bowles knows how to scheme up the defense to make it work. Uh, offense still hasn't been dominant. I still think we're, we have to be a little bit cautious of Mayfield, but he's playing good football right now, and they have good receivers as well. So they are also in the maybe playoffs tier. Then the Philadelphia Eagles, who nearly won the Super Bowl last year, they got to be Super Bowl contenders, haven't lost yet. I mean, they've lost, you know, what, one game and how long now? I'm trying to think, with Jalen Hurts, I believe he's only lost two games in the in this season and last season combined because uh, he got hurt when they lost a few with Minshew in as the backup. And then, you know, uh, he lost to Washington in the regular season. He lost to Kansas City in the regular season. And that's it. So, uh, yeah, I mean, Eagles, hey, you know, they haven't been as dominant this year as you would like. They're still winning football games, so who cares? Um, We then next are going to have the Cleveland Browns, who, I don't know. I mean, I'm in between these two. I'm in between the for sure playoffs, however, and the maybe playoffs tier because I do still have real questions about their, you know, quarterback play right now for Watson. So I'm putting them in maybe playoffs. Like, their defense has been great, but, you know, uh, I— Watson needs to play like what we've seen him do. He needs to play like Houston uh, Watson for for me to say for sure their playoffs. Uh, the AFC is tough. I just I can't I can't go there yet. I just can't. Um, the Texans. I do think the Texans are mid. Uh, I know they're very fun. They're a very fun team. I still think that there's some coverage issues with this roster. Uh, you know, uh, offensive line has had some issues, and they, they they're still just a young team. They're still figuring out how to win. I don't think they're a bad team. I think that they're they're mid right now, and maybe towards the end of the year, I totally could see them getting better now. Next up is going to be the Indianapolis Colts. Um, you know, 
I don't know. I got to keep him in the mid tier as well. I, I'm sorry. Like, I know that, like, Minshew's looked good so far. He's not going to have to play as a starter for, like, a month. And, again, it is kind of the thing where Minshew and Richardson are two very different quarterbacks. You prepare very differently. Now teams are going to prepare for him, although the flip side is, you know, the Colts are going to prepare to have him. So it's interesting to see how that will work. I'm not fully buying in yet. Listen, they block really well, really good in the trenches. Defense has been good so far this year. I have no issues there. But Minshew has shown a tendency to ring, you know, string together a few games to start the year that are pretty good and then kind of fall off. If that happens, I don't know if they're good enough to be in the maybe playoffs tier. For now, I'm just putting them in mid. Another team that I could see jumping up to the next tier, though, potentially. Um, we then have the... The Rams, Rams are, I don't know, I'm going to put them in maybe playoffs. I know their record isn't great. They're only two and three, but I don't, I'm not, you know, you can look at the standings if you want to see the records and, you know, have them ranked that way. Uh, I'm giving my opinions on what they've done. I think this, I'm buying into this offense. I really am. Puka Nakua and with Cooper Cup healthy could be really good. They've had a really tough start to the season. They have a tough schedule. So that obviously sucks for them, but they're the one team that's been competitive so far with San Francisco. I think that they're a talented team. I could see them getting into the postseason. Um, the Dolphins, I'm still putting as Super Bowl contenders. I am. I think that they're a very, very good team. Yes, they lost to Buffalo. They had a, real, a bit of a tough week there, but they kind of beat themselves a lot of ways. You're going to lose football games, it seems. I think every team's going to. I don't think the Niners or Eagles will go undefeated, although you never know. Um, Dolphins have looked awesome. Their offense is borderline unstoppable. They're Super Bowl contenders, in my opinion. The Vikings, um... I, I don't know. I mean, you could argue plucky, but bad. I think I'm putting them in plucky, but bad. If Jefferson was still healthy, I think that would put them up for mid. But with Jefferson hurt, I mean, I can't put them in the just bad tier, but they're they're in that conversation. Um, the Patriots, sorry, sorry, Kyle, uh, if you're watching this, uh, they're just bad. They're just bad. Uh, they're just not a good football team right now. I mean, there's very little to like about them. The things that w you did like about them were their defensive players that are now injured. I mean, I don't, I don't know what else to say. Like, their offense is a mess. It's one of the worst in football. Uh, their defense isn't good anymore. Like, their special team sucks. Like, everything about this team is bad right now. They're just bad. I, I think I have to put them there, even though they started the season strong. What they've done these past couple of weeks has been awful. Um, the Jets... I'm still putting them in plucky, but bad. I, I know that their defense is very good. They did beat Denver, so they get credit there. But clearly, I don't think that highly of Denver if you look at my tier rankings of them. Um, you know, I still am not fully buying into Zach Wilson. I know he he's look, looked better, but it's still not great. They This team needs an Aaron Rodgers, in my opinion. Um, Panthers, Panthers are just bad. They It's starting to look like they might have given up the first overall pick to get Bryce Young, like uh, this, you know, current first overall pick in a draft that has uh, Caleb Williams in it, which is not great, not ideal, especially when Bryce Young hasn't looked great to start the year. I'm not giving up on him yet because he is a young player. We'll see how he goes. But as a whole, this is, um, you know, it's looking rough right now for Carolina. Adam Thielen's good. Uh, and the defense is all right. Again, you know, I put Detroit in Super Bowl contenders. I can't be that harsh on Carolina for getting blown out by them. But still, would have liked to at least be somewhat competitive. Um, the Steelers, I, I know I know they're leading their division, so maybe some people would say first year playoffs. Maybe even some people would say maybe playoffs. I think they're mid. I, I just do. I, I know Steelers fans aren't going to be thrilled, but like they should not have won that game. And I give them credit. They found a way to win games, and that's kind of what the Steelers do. And so I guess they could end up as a playoff team just because they're the Steelers and they find ways to make this stuff happen. But like... Until Kenny Pickett starts to play like he did last year, like I just can't feel comfortable putting them higher than than mid. I, I just can't. Um, Seattle. Seattle is going to be... I'll put them in the for sure playoffs, however. I know it hasn't been as strong to start the year, but their defense has looked better. Uh, you know, we've seen their young... Like Devin, Devin Witherspoon has stepped in now and looked really good. So, uh, you know, I do think that the secondary has started to look better. And once that's happened, they look like the team that we feel like they should have looked like heading into the year. And again, we, we got on them for losing to the Rams. Turns out the Rams actually aren't that bad. So it's, you know, that's kind of how I view all of that. The Raiders, hey, 
Big win against the Packers for sure, who I put in the mid-tier. I think I'm going to put the Raiders also in mid-tier. Their offense is good enough. They can make some plays. They do have a couple of good defenders, mostly Max Crosby on defense. So, you know, Devontae Adams is awesome. He's going to get you, uh, you know, pretty good uh, in terms of offense. You have Jacoby Myers. You have guys to throw to. They're not a star team or anything, but midfield is about right, in my opinion. The Titans, I kind of also feel like they're mid. I do. Uh, I mean, and maybe you could talk me into the plucky but bad, but I don't think so. I think that they are they can win some football games for sure. They are a flawed team. There's no denying it. But hey, Hopkins started to look good. Tough loss losing to Indianapolis. There's there's no denying it. That's a tough loss. But I, I, I'm still going to put them in the mid-tier for now. We'll see if that changes. Um, Washington, I still have the Washington football team logo, even though they're, they're commanders. They should still beat a football team. That's more fun. Um, I think they're also, I'm going to stick with mid right now. I mean, they've had some impressive weeks, but really, I mean, you look at their five games, they've beaten two teams that aren't very good, and then they beat, uh, they t- uh, nearly beat the Eagles, that was the other one, and then they've lost a couple of games they shouldn't have lost to. They shouldn't have lost, well, they lost a game they shouldn't have lost to. Uh, they, they, they lost to the uh like the Bears, which that's obviously a tough loss. You know, the other two losses, hey, forcing overtime against the Eagles, no no shame in that. But still, you know, getting crushed by the Bills, no real shame in that either. But still, it's – it's I haven't been overly impressed with them. Howell's looked good, and, good or bad depending on the week. There's things to like, but as of right now, I'm putting them in the mid here. And then finally, Jacksonville – um, Jacksonville's for sure playoffs, however. I still think that the you know receiving core needs to stop dropping passes, which seemingly stopped last week. They did just beat Buffalo, who I also have in this tier. Maybe they could become Super Bowl contenders. Uh, they got to be a little bit more consistent, though, because uh, at their best, they feel that way. But for now, for sure playoffs, however, feels like the correct tier. So, yeah, as a whole, we have five Super Bowl contenders. And how about three of them? In the NFC, you know, everyone talks about the AFC being so tough. I just have the Chiefs and the Dolphins uh, in that tier. Actually, just looking at it, it's all five teams that are four and one or five and zero oh are the Super Bowl contenders. Everyone else uh, is, you know, has multiple losses already on their record. We have six teams in the for sure playoffs. However, so if all of that holds true, that would be eleven of the fourteen teams there, and then three out of these. Uh, you know, five teams in the maybe playoffs could also get in. But again, not exactly how it works. You know, for one thing, there's divisions and conferences and also just, you know, uh, things are going to change. But as of right now, that's kind of where I feel each of these teams are at. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from y'all. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.